We are about to look at MDMA and learn the health and safety aspects you need to know if you take it, which obviously is illegal, but considering how ubiquitous it is in the party scene, knowing these facts just might save your life. With me is Emmanuel Spirios. What is the difference between MDMA, ecstasy, and Molly? MDMA is actually its own drug. It's a chemical called methylene dioxymethamphetamine, where ecstasy and Molly are slang terms. Generally, ecstasy is the word used to refer to pressed tablets, and Molly is a loose powder. You buy it in baggies, an ounce, or something like that. The myth is that Molly is pure MDMA, but that's not true. Both ecstasy and Molly could be any number of drugs. What is the safest dosage of MDMA? If you know you're getting pure MDMA, a standard dose is between 70 and 125 milligrams. These were doses established back in the late 70s when the drug was being used therapeutically. MDMA releases the brain's stored serotonin. And serotonin didn't evolve to be released all at once, so it takes about a week or two, depending on diet and genetics, for your brain to replenish its serotonin. During that period of time, in individuals predisposed to depression, it can exacerbate symptoms of depression. How often is too often? Well, Anne Shulgin, the wife of the chemist who rediscovered MDMA, says four times a year. What is it being studied to treat? post-traumatic stress disorder. It's MDMA-assisted psychotherapy. There are also FDA-approved studies underway using it to treat end-of-life anxiety in terminally ill patients. These end-of-life studies are FDA-approved. Uh, even the DEA has to approve the use of the drug. Very important to know you cannot tell what's in your pill simply by looking at it. Most importantly, if you're going to use Molly or Ecstasy, is that you test your drugs first. Right now, there is really two ways. One is to use a set of chemical reagents. They can identify the presence of MDMA in your pill, but they can't tell you whether it's uh, pure or not. The only way to know whether you have pure MDMA is to send the pill to a laboratory. And there is a laboratory where you can do that. Uh, you can go to ecstasydata.org, and there's instructions there. It's really important to know the kind of mushroom that you're using. You can tell the different kind of shroom depending on the cap 